So Sam, can you talk about how you guys started the game on that 26 to 10 start? Um, yeah, we just wanted to come out um, first NCAA tournament in a while. So we just want to come out, punch the other team in the face and show that they didn't really have a chance to win. So that was our mission. Hopefully um, that's what we gave out, but they obviously made a run in the second half. So credit to them. And then you guys shot nearly 67% from the three point line today. Um, I know you guys probably have been working on that in practice. So how does it feel to see those ball, uh, the three ball go down? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, we haven't had a game in about two weeks, so all we've been working on is our offense, shooting, a little bit of defense, of course, as well. But to show that it worked in the game, it's, it's a good feeling. Javier Morales, go ahead. Hey, Sam, just talk about, um, you know, being a senior and finally being able to get an NCAA tournament win um, after all you've been through in your career there. Definitely feels long overdue. <laughs> First one was definitely, it's been fun so far, um, but we just want to go as far as we can. Um, love my teammates. We've had a great time, even though we are in a bubble and we have to stay isolated basically the whole time. They're doing the best they can here to make us like feel like a regular tournament. And um, uh, please talk about the defense. They just really took Stony Brook out of their game. They, there's the, the player that had 31 points in their championship game didn't score at all in this game. So just talk about how your defense played out. Yeah, we knew they had two players who were mainly their offense and they had a good post player. So we really just tried to shut those big three down. Um, we were able to get probably like one or two of them down. Dingle did a great job of getting to the basket, so credit to her. But we just wanted to put a stop on them and show that we were um, a defensive team. DJ Brown. Hi, Sam. Um, I guess I'll first start out with what was the whole experience like, you know, your pregame like? Um, you know, doing your hype thing and, and just getting ready for the game, walking out onto that floor. Um, what did that feel like? Yeah, it felt great. Um, just to know, you see the court there, it says like women's NCAA. So that was nice to see. And then you're in a big arena. And then also we had some fans there. So it was nice to see some of our fans. We had Dave Hickey, President Robbins there. So it was great to finally have some fans back again. It feels like it's been a while. And um, you saw, I'm sure you saw the football team, the coaches <laughs> getting you up, get, getting you geared up for this game. When you watch that, did you feel like I'm going to run through the wall for Coach Fish? <laughs> um, yes, definitely. He's been doing a great job. The whole staff has done a great job and they supported us going into the Pac-12 tourney and now they made that awesome video for our first round. Um, they're just doing a great job over there. They're showing us the support. So it's nice to have that community supporting us. Great. And, um, you know, you um, picked up six steals today and obviously the defense was at a completely different level. Um, what was that like? I mean, right from the beginning, you were getting in, you know, you were going after those 50-50 balls and, and your steals came on like usual steals, but yet unusual ways. Mm -hmm. um, how was that happening in, in what sort of went into all of that? Um, yeah, we were trying to play aggressive defense, get in the passing lanes. Um, I felt like my teammates were ball pressuring more, so they were able to get Stony Brook to throw some high lobs, cross court passes that I was just in the right spot at the right time and I was able to pick them off. Justin Spears? Sam, you only yeah, took one shot that. today, but um, but obviously, you know, you had six steals, which I think is uh, tied for your career high. Um, you just uh, assess, you know, what your role was like over the course of the game. Um, yeah, I just every game I try and go in and do whatever I can to get the team to win. Um, I played point guard for a little bit there. They need me at point. That's where I got some assists. And then on defense, obviously, I always want to show up on defense. So that's where those steals come from. Um, my shot will be there when it's there. Maybe the next game, maybe not. But wherever my team needs you to win, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I was going to say it. <laughs> Uh, did you see anything different from Trinity today? I mean, she tied her season high in points, and I know this is her, this might be her last go around. So, did did you see anything different out of her? Yeah, Trinity is a beast. Um, that's what we expect from her every game. Um, obviously, seniors, it's our last. It could be our last game any day, but we were able to get the win this time. But she's just playing like every game's her last. She's going in there aggressive, aggressive on offense and defense, and that's what we need from her in order to win. And then also, what did you think about Helena hitting hitting some shots today? That's what we've been waiting for all season. We need Helena to shoot the ball. She, as you can see, she's a great shooter. So we expect that from every game here on out. Okay, thanks guys. We're gonna get Trinity in here because we got to roll out here pretty soon. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Trinity.
guys. Okay, PJ Brown, go ahead. Hi, Trinity. Um, big game from you today. You came out with that mindset that you said you were going to have. What what did that whole experience feel like for you? Um, it's just exciting, um, you know, being here with this team this year in March. It's just everything we, I work for, everything we work for all year. And having my family here was um, a big spark for me and just being excited to play in front of them and play for God and the man up above. So I'm just excited. Um, just and just want to lead my team and help them win in any way that I can. And what was it like playing in front of your 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 mom, your grandma, your sister? Um, for the they got to see you for the first time in person this season. Right. Yeah, I kind of put a little pressure on them too because, um, I mean, they're back in Florida, so they haven't been able to travel and see me play. And I told them like I'm a senior this year. You know, this is it right here. So like, yeah, I need y'all to come out and. Uh, <laughs> support me and my teammates and I'm gonna try to get them back they got to leave tomorrow but I'm gonna try to get them back um you know take one game at a time try to get them back out here to watch us again Troy Hutchison so Trinity you guys shot I think nearly 53 percent from the field there seemed like a different mindset a different uh kind of rhythm out there offensively uh what went into that well I think it was the same mindset um you know how we play Arizona defense. We just play aggressive, um, always in the passing lanes, uh, trapping. That's just what we do. So um, sometimes it varies. We had to back off a little bit because the refs were calling fouls. Um, so just had to adjust. But I think um, that's just what we do. That's just how we practice. And um, I feel very confident in our defense. And then how cool was it to see Helena knock down a couple threes? I think her first two shots of the game today. I love seeing that from her. Um, we're always encouraging her to shoot more. Her and Sam, we want them to shoot more, shoot more. So I'm just happy to see the shots go in and see them take take those shots. Um, so, yeah. Hey guys, we got time for two more, then we got to get out of here. So we'll go Javier Morales and then Kim Doss. I'll just ask one question really quick, Trinity. Uh, what was the what was the message by Adia at with you guys after the game? Um, well, we're going to celebrate this for a little after the game and just be happy that we won. But now uh, we're going to eat, recover, and move on to BYU, um, watch Scout later and watch film and learn and uh, just have the same mindset going into the um, next game. Go ahead, Kim. Um, you and Kate both had pretty dominant games. Um, what were you guys seeing inside that was so effective for you? Well, we just saw that we have the advantage. <laughs> we have the advantage everywhere, but I think inside, definitely. Um, we just had to pound it inside, and we we uh, talked about how we're 14-0 and 0 when the post players have um, scoring double figures. So I think that me and Kate have to be more aggressive, and we got to do it um, consistently. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. See you guys.